Absorb. Absorb. When you attack me like this. Ah. Yes, right. Go here. Go here. Go here. Uh -huh. Okay? So, you do. You do when I hit jab girl. Hands up. Hands up. Jab girl. You do jab girl. You kick me. I bring it down. Then you hit jab. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this morning running with us the stairs. Uh, again, for my other Wing Chun so-called friends, WC or whatever, that's important. Every fighter in the world is strong, who's a good fighter has strong legs. Because without legs, no, we don't, we don't like to get hit. We don't get hit in Wing Chun. I mean, you can. We're not supposed to get hit. But a good boxer, if you look at a boxer, those strong ones have strong legs if they get hit. So since boxing is not a defense sport, they do get hit because that's why they look like this. But if you have strong legs, you can take more. But it's not the reason. Strong legs for me is you can be explosive and you can maneuver much faster with your footwork away from the attacker. You understand? And come from... From, from the sides. Basically, you can use tactics much more effective, explosive, to, to get your main objective, is your strategy, to be in the best outgoing point and put him in his weakest point, right? So if you have not good legs, and if Wing Chun, the technique is the best in the world for self-defense, doesn't mean you are the best. Doesn't mean you're good. You have to do something for it. So you have to make that idea work on your anatomy, on your body. So and that kind of training is part of it. And all those Wing Chun people, they're hiding because behind the fact that Wing Chun was created a woman. And again, and again, and again. Don't forget, Nick Mu, she was a grandmaster in five disciplines of hardcore Shaolin Kung Fu, which goes from flexibility to powerful punches, you know, like Wushu type of stuff. Very flexible, so the woman was flexible. And some of the animal, like tiger style or whatever you call it, very powerful punches, strong legs, sitting very low, hitting very powerful. So that woman physically must have been fit. With her intelligence, she could combine understanding fighting, mechanism of power, right? And understand that she, even she was fit against the male, stronger people, she could not last. So therefore she created with her knowledge of science, Wing Chun or whatever it was, and remember, she never named, neither did Yim Ming Chung never named the system, ever. It was Yim Ming Chung's husband to honor Yim Ming Chung after she died, and his wife, basically, and the system. So, always go back to history in this way. Don't go back to history to lie. Don't go back to history to change, to make you look good. Like my ex-grandmaster, Loi Ting, or whatever. I call him grandmother now, because I lost zero respect the way they treated people. I don't care you're Chinese, and I don't care. A grandmaster has to be above everything. He has to be fair to every of his students. Try to solve problems, not get greedy for money and stuff. And that's what we're trying to do here. Okay? And honest. Sweat. That's honest workout. Honest Wing Chun. Martial arts, art of war. You sweat. There are casualties. This case, you will lose on body fat, you get healthy. We gain cardio, we gain power. So now these people can train. Okay? So think about it. Don't make out of Wing Chun some sort of a Tai Chi. Wonderful art Tai Chi. But Tai Chi, it's at least authentic Tai Chi. <laughs> Alright? So keep Wing Chun authentic. Thank you very much. So everybody, very technical. Very, very technical. Okay? Thank you for the Sit my game, chop you, chop you, I'm very soft now. We have lots of power training. Chop, pop, wish, and do it. Let me go. Chop, start, chop, okay? Sit my game. You guys do. Very technical.